You know, I need a good laugh today, so why not some Sean Locke? You know what I'm saying? Um, I was thinking about him today. I was like, you know what? I need to do a reaction to a Sean Locke video today. For those of you who have been waiting for the in-betweener reaction videos, uh, I can't do it until I get the queen down here in, uh, in front of the camera to actually do those reactions because guess what? She said if I do in-betweeners reactions without her, she's going to kill me. And she's dead fucking serious. So I can't do it until she has time to uh, get in front of the camera again and do some reaction videos with me. So apologize for the wait, but they're coming. I'm going to get her to, uh, in front of this camera soon. So, but yeah, I was thinking about Sean Locke and um, I was like, you know what, let me uh, do a reaction video to him. And uh, so I just typed him in the search field. This one is uh, Channel 4's tribute to Sean Locke. So, I figured why not? It's uh, short, it should be sweet and to the point, and it should give, give us some good uh, Sean Locke memories that uh, some of them I probably, ha I probably haven't seen before, but a lot of you guys probably have. And um, hopefully they'll make me giggle, which they usually do, because Sean Locke was one hell of a dude. Uh, anyway, without further ado, this is, I'm assuming this is a uh, compilation of takes from uh, the 8 out of 10 cats series actually before we do the video somebody explain isn't there like two versions of 8 out of 10, 10 cats is there the show and then there's 8 out of 10 cats does countdown something like that I don't know um, I remember uh, a while back some of you guys explained the uh, difference between the two or if there's more I don't know um, but get back at me about that but anyway, this is a tribute to Sean Locke from Channel 4. Let's check this out, guys. If we were to look up Sean Locke in the dictionary, what, what would we find? What would be the definition of Sean Locke? If you look me up in the dictionary, you'd get a four-letter word. It's got a C in it, a U in it, and a T in it. And that word is, of course, cute. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I don't think a dictionary has got enough words in it to describe me. You know, I don't think, I, don't, I think it's, I'm such an amazing, complicated, I'm more like a sensation, an idea. Yeah. <laughs> the best way to describe me is with a fragrance. <laughs> you smell it and you go, that's, that's Sean Locke. <laughs> smell it, you smell it. It'd be like hot tarmac and a vet's flannel. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, to top it off with the Jimmy Carl laugh, that's great. Would you guys buy that, buy that fragrance? Hmm? Maybe I should put a poll out for that. Would you guys buy the Sean Locke fragrance? Would you like to smell like Sean Locke? Let me know. All right. You're an incredibly happy man. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret to your happiness? Simple things. A bluebell, the first bluebell of spring. <laughs> Coming home to a full mousetrap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? Only Sean Locke would say something like that, man. Oh, God. Do you ever show your sensitive side? Yeah. I've shown it twice. <laughs> uh, That's it? Once to my wife, and another time I slowed down for a horse. <laughs> I've got a, an amazing trick I'm going to perform. A feat of prediction. I've written a word down in this envelope. And at some point in the show, someone's going to come up with that word. It's going to come up on that board. I'm going to give this to a Rachel. And if Rachel will be so kind, she can open the envelope. And the word that will be up on the board there will be in this envelope. I'd like you now to open that card, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> the word in there is beam rules. <laughs> okay, well, this is extraordinary. It this is, is extraordinary. It's got Santa on it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what does it say, Rachel? Was it? To you, Brian and Margaret. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he like how he's keeping a straight face. Oh, that's great. Merry Christmas, you pair of tosses. <laughs> <laughs>
What a Christmas card. I don't know what happened now, but Brian and Margaret have got a card with beam rules in it. <laughs> <laughs> stops because he cracked open. I hope that's a beer. I hope he stopped because he cracked open a beer. Are you drinking that? Water. What <laughs> <laughs> a can of water. water. Have you not seen the new water brand? It's just water. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Now, did he just wrap around a thing that just says water on it over uh, a beer can? Or is that an actual thing? Because if that's an actual beer named water, that's fucking brilliant. That is fucking amazing. I'd have cases of water in my fridge if, if that's a thing. Let me know if that's a real thing. Um, it probably isn't, but... If it is, that's fucking genius. I want some fucking water. Hell yeah. I mean, it's, it's from a canal. So it's, like, <laughs> it's from a canal. You're just rehydrating, are you? I wouldn't normally with water, but it's so watery, I'd say cheers. <laughs> Sean, have you got a mascot? Yes, I do, Jimmy. Uh, following the enormous success of my um, bespoke voucher <laughs> books, I thought I'd bring back a Christmas selection of uh, vouchers, which, uh, uh, you know, I think anybody would be delighted to, uh, to, to receive. This one, for example, is to rescind a pensioner's bus pass. <laughs> Ooh. You could just nip in front of a pensioner as they're getting off the bus, <laughs> hand that in, and they've got to cough up some of that hard-earned money they want sitting on a house for 40 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> You could design the kits for England's football team for the next tournament. How about Ugg boots and a cape? <laughs> <laughs> the FA have said they'll honour that. <laughs> I know what my... <laughs> <laughs> I know what my granddad would love. A chance to host the Mobo Awards. <laughs> the Mobo Awards. <laughs> well, this one's a bit odd. Third off number seven products of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's loving this. So how about this one? Have any adult relative jailed for three weeks? <laughs> That's the winner right there. We'd all we all have a relative or two that we'd like to have jailed for three weeks. Let's be honest here, okay? Uh, we always got. Uh, there's always a couple of them in there. You need to take a break in the pen pal. All right. That was probably my favourite one. <laughs> Sean, biggest achievement in life? Well, I think the money I embezzled from the RNLI. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one you guys told me about, yep. My greatest achievement must be rectum of the year. <laughs> not, not rear of the year, no, no, it's different. Yeah. This is rear of the year with the gloves off. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd won when I... Uh, I heard three of the judges throwing up behind me. <laughs> I thought, I've got, I've got this in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I beat, sure. beat phone cotton. <laughs> Jimmy's crying. I love it. Let me tell you, hers is pretty messed up. <laughs> I remember that one too. And then, uh, of course, <laughs> That got me through to the world. So I got to the, went to the world finals in Cancun. Cancun. I, I thought I was going to win. I thought I'm going to win this. Stop it. And then Diego Maradona beat me. <laughs> and he bent over, and set the sprinklers off. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I like how the one uh, girl Claudia, said her name was. I don't know who she is, but she was like, "Just stop talking. Just stop talking," because he has. That he had that effect on people, man. Um, rest in peace, Sean Locke. It, that that last bit, because you know, as you when you do compilations, like you realize that the last one, like that was when he was 
really getting sick. You can see it. Um, that's unfortunate. But, you know, everything Sean Luck um, has done that I've seen has been absolute gold. I think my favorite Sean Luck moment that I reacted to was... Um, it's a toss-up between the carrot and the box. Um, the first one or the second one. They're really interchangeable for me. Or the um, the infamous, um, that's a challenging wink comment. That one. I still can't believe you said that. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, God, I wish he was still around. Um, and I've enjoyed his, uh, I've done like two or three reactions to his stand-up material so far, I think. And his stand-up's really good, too. I like how relaxed he is in his stand-ups. It's, it's uh, you know, because most of the time when you watch stand-up comedians, they're, they're worked up. You know, because it's a performance and everything. But he's just like so nonchalant, he's just tossing away jokes, and they're, they're absolutely hilarious, and it's, it's fantastic. I like that style that he had. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I promise more in-betweeners reactions are coming soon. I just got to get the queen in front of the camera, and uh, she's been real busy lately, so... Uh, be on the lookout for those. They're coming. And uh, if you got any more suggestions in the comments, let me know. Because I enjoy your feedback. Um, the negative ones, too. The negative ones um, crack me up sometimes. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And don't do anything that I wouldn't do. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.